What's going on everyone? Cameron Blazer here. Welcome you to week two of the PBAJ. And oh my gosh, we have a great battle coming up. Um, if you do not know, uh, last week we lost, I think it was 3-0 against David and the Connex Caballions. And this week we are going up against the Amsterdam Amphros Counts, um, a good friend of mine. And he's got a really good team. Uh, I feel like we have a decent matchup, um, as you can see, our team up there. Before we go into that, though, um, we're going to go over his team. And before that, make sure you guys smash that like button down below and go check out the description. Count's Twitter will be down there. Um, if he has a Twitter, which I'm pretty sure he does, but we're going to ignore that part. Um, yeah, we're battling in tomorrow and i thought i'd go ahead and get this done yada 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 so let's get into his team his tier one is a skarmory as you can see um i have a general idea of like the sets he's most likely gonna bring um but besides that we're gonna just talk about his tier one and it's skarmory now skarmory is a Defensive monster. Looking at its stats, it has 65 HP, which isn't the greatest. 80 attack, 140 base defense, which is insane. 40 special attack, 70 special defense, 70 speed. Um, this thing is a really good stealth rock user. It gets stealth rock spikes, uh, breakward roost. That's the general idea of what it can do. But I also there's a chance he can bring whirlwind. Um, he could bring um, iron head. I don't know why he would though, but that's an option. Bra this thing matches up really good against my Breloom, um, but we did prep for that. Um, not to mention, he does get, um, what was it called, what was it called, what was it called, what was it called, um, oh, well, weird. Oh yeah, it gets counter, so we have to be careful with Victini. We can't just freely recreate on it, if it because it has sturdy, and if I go for recreate and it counters me, then we are in a bit of trouble. We don't want to lose Victini that way, but we have a plan for for um, how we're going to run Victini and such and such. So up next we have Salamence for his tier two. Now Salamence is a huge threat. Um, I'm fully expecting it only because it's really good against my team. Uh, Outrage, Quick Hydro Pump, Fire Blast. I don't know why Roost is on there. I was thinking of something else, but Fire Blast like this set actually can just run through my uh, team. Um, because nothing can really swap in. We don't have a fairy type, and Fire Blast and Earthquake hits Reggie still. So, Salamence, I feel like, is a really good bring for him. Um, it has base 95 HP, which is really good. 135 attack, 80s in its defenses, 110 special attack, and 100 speed. Now, the 100 speed allows it to speed tie with Scarf Victini, um, if it is Scarfed. Uh, because Victini is our, our fastest thing outside of Latios, but we do not bring Latios only because of his Mega Absol. But, um, besides that, uh, Salamence actually, match, like I said, matches up really good. I don't expect a Dragon Dance set only because we do have a, um, Ditto, which can swap in on it and counter sweep him. If he doesn't bring Slurf Puff, which, I, which I'm expecting, by the way. Um... But this thing just kind of de destroys my entire team if he uses it right. I'm if expecting Choice Scarf so he can speed tie with Scarf Ditto, um, which would become a 50-50 basically. But yeah, um, not much to say about Salamence. It hits really hard. It does get Wish, which is kind of hilarious, but I don't expect Wish Salamence. It could happen, but I doubt it. So up next, we have Porygon 2. This thing is bulky. Um... I'm expecting the Eevee Light Trace, so he could trace things like my, um, what's it called? If he can trace Levitate, he could trace a Victory Star and run things like Blizzard Thunder, but I don't expect that. He could trace my, um, Breloom's Poison Heal if I brought that and swap in on a Toxic and get, re like, good recovery, reliable recovery for that short of time. Which, I mean, I know that sounds crazy, but I was actually considering Toxic Orb... Breloom, sub toxic or Breloom, but if this thing is like poisoned with like toxic spikes, I was considering that. It's just a big mess. I mean, I know that's a um, lot of stuff that could happen, and like unlikely, but it's a chance. Um, I'm expecting special Porygon too, only because it walls my Latias if I do bring it. It also walls um, Mega Blastoise decently. It can take some hits, toxic it, uh, really cripple it. 
Um, the problem with uh, Porygon 2 is it has to have a TV light, and let's say I trick it with Victini or I knock off with my... What gets knock off on my team? TikTok. Oh, anyway, if we just knock off that EV light, it should be shouldn't be too big of a deal. But my plan is to trick it that, or, and you'll see my like I said, we have a plan. Um, in terms on what I think he's gonna bring, try attack Shadow Ball, recover Toxic. Um, really simple. He could swap out like Shadow Ball for Thunder Wave to try to slow down my Victini, but we're not too worried. Um, stat wise, this thing is really bulky. Um, especially with the EV light, like I said, base 85 HP, 80 attack. 90 defense, 105 special attack, so it doesn't need much special attack to actually hit decently. 95 special defense and 60 speed, so it's not the fastest thing. So if we do trick this thing, we should outspeed still with Victini. And if we don't, then he's running max speed Porygon 2, which would be unlikely and weird. But I'm expecting a specially defensive Porygon 2, if he's bringing it. So, so far, I think his tier 1, his, I mean, his Salamence, his Skarmory, and Porygon 2 are obvious brings. Um... Uh, for Swampert, however, I do not expect Swampert, but we still um, made a set that's kind of pretty good against my team. Swampert it has base 100 HP, so it can take hits, 110 attack, 90 defense, 85 special attack, 90 defense, I mean special defense and 60 speed, so not that speedy. It is pretty bulky, though, like the, the set I'm expecting is an Assault Vest Torrent, excuse me, um, Waterfall, Earthquake, Ice Punch, Mirror Coat. Um, Miracle's there to take HP grasses from things that usually don't get energy ball. Like, let's say I run Hidden Power Grass, I don't know, Reggie still, to try to throw him off. You can take that and possibly Miracle me. Um, Breloom can... It does get walled by Breloom, so that's why I do not expect it. But let's say, like, if he runs a certain set, I think he can live energy ball from Victini. If he's like Rindo Berry, so Rindo Berry Maricoke, gotta watch out for that. Um, Swampert is not like a, it's the 50 50 one for me. I do not think it's gonna come, but it has a chance to. But so far, we, if he does bring it, this is the set, either this or Stealth Rock set. If he brings Swampert and Skarmory, I'm expecting Assault Vest Offensive. If he brings just Swampert and no Skarmory, then he's a Stealth Rock set, setter, most likely. But. Uh, moving on to number, his fourth Pokemon I think he's bringing is his Slurpuff, only because it matches up so well against my team. I do. If he brings this thing, we're going to have a lot, hard time taking it down. Belly Drum Return, Drain Punch, Play Rough is the set I believe he's going to bring. If he sets up a Belly Drum um, and we don't kill him, we get swept, basically. <clears throat> Our only chance of living is Registeel. Registeel can actually live a Drain Punch at plus six, Adamant. But it has to be at full, and that's going to be tough to prep around. But we have to. But Reggie still is our check, and you'll see our plan in a minute. Uh, if he doesn't bring the Slurpuff, I'd be very surprised, only because, like I said, it matches up very well. After a Belly Drum, it 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 just beats me. Um, it can't swap into anything. So if it swaps in against stuff like my uh, Bray, not Brayloom, my um, Umbreon, we can foul play it. But I don't think it would do enough, to be honest. I don't know, we'll have to see, but 82 HP, 80 attack, 86 defense, 85 special attack, 75 special defense, 72 speed. I mean, stat-wise, it's not good, that great looking, but once it doubles its speeds and gets to plus 6 after a belly drum, this thing can and will sweep you. He could also bring a sub-call mindset. I don't expect that, but it's a possibility. Like, sub-call mind um, with Hold and Citrus Berry, um, Dazzling Gleam, I mean, Moonblast, and something that Big Teeny, like, Surf, um... It's also, I mean, there's a lot of things he could bring, but this is the set I feel like he's going to bring. Um, something I do not expect at all is Polyrath. Um, I mean, it just doesn't match up that great against me because its best fighting move is Submission, which Reggie still can just drink. Um, if he does bring it, uh, he could use it to wall Mega Blastoise, which actually is a decent check to Mega Blastoise Polyrath. Assault Vest, Water Absorb, Waterfall Submission, Ice Punch, Poison Jab. He doesn't have, he can't do much to me besides like submission me, but I can't scald him, burn him. I think the best move I have to hit him is with is probably Aura Sphere or Dragon Pulse or, um, yeah, Dragon Pulse or Aura Sphere, one of those two. But I'm not expecting Polyrath only because we do have Breloom, like I said, and Breloom outspeeds this thing, I think, or speeds tie it, I don't remember. And stat-wise, 90 HP, 95 attack, 95 defense, 70 special attack, 90 special defense, and 70 speed. Not worried too much. 
but it is an option for him. So moving on to his last five picks, they're pretty powerful. As you can see, he has a Mega Absol, and this thing is the reason, the only reason we have not brought, we are not bringing Latios this week. This thing can just Pursuit Trap it and Sucker Punch kill it. It's really scary. We almost didn't bring Victini because of this, but I am. Um, Mind games can come into play if he doesn't, like, because Blue Flare actually kills this thing. Spoiler alert, we're bringing Special, we're bringing special Victini. We have, like, an 87% chance to kill this thing, so if we can throw, if we can win the mind games and kill him with Victini, we should be good to go. But 60, I don't know if we set a stats or not, but we're going to re-say him. 65 HP, 150 attack, 60 defense, 115 special attack. 60 special defense, 115 speed. So this is like your typical glass cannon. Um, it destroys lives with everything because it's so strong on both sides. It's really hard to prep for, but its stats are terrible on the defensive side because it cannot live a Mac Punch from Breloom, so that's good nice to note. Um, however, if he gets a Sword Stands up, Sucker Punch can kill Breloom depending on if he's adamant or not and how much damage we take. But I'm not too worried. Um... In terms on what I think he's bringing, Swords Dance, Sucker Punch, Superpower Pursuit. There, I don't see any other set he could bring. He might swap out Sucker Punch with something else and only try to pursue Trap Victini, but then he gets outsped if he's not. Um, Mega Evolved, and if we lose our Scarf because of the trick. So, I don't know. Uh, if he does bring a special set, it would most likely be Fire Blast, Dark Pulse, Ice Beam. I'm pretty sure it gets Ice Beam. And probably protect or something or sucker punch because you don't need to invest in your attack to just destroy things um moving on to his free picks his first free pick is his thunderous incarnate now this thing is scary because uh, i don't expect it because of ditto but there's a chance he can bring it oh yeah mega absol is the fifth thing i'm guaranteed he's bringing i bet so so far we have um what was it Skarmory, Salamence, Porygon 2, Slurpuff, Mega Absol. Those are the five I think he's bringing, and then the sixth is Meloetta, but we'll get to that in a bit. I don't expect Thunderous, to be honest, um, only because we have a Ditto, but we did prep for it accordingly. Thunderwave, Nasty Plot, Thunderbolt, Dark Pulse, um, Prankster, Thunderwave, can just cripple Victini. Uh, then it can set up a Nasty Plot if we get paralyzed. Thunderbolt, Sweep, Dark Pulse, it's really scary. Um... Umbreon is a pretty good check to this, as we can live a Thunderbolt at plus two pretty well. And then Foul Play will do a lot, because he does have a base 115 attack. Um, it's not doing enough where we can just sit there in front of him and attack him nonstop. But it's doing enough where we can just Thunderbolt and then hopefully go out into something else and revenge kill it after we Foul Play and die. Um, 75 HP, 115 attack, 70 defense, 125 special attack, 80 special defense, 111 speed. This thing's surprisingly really fast, and it doesn't hit as hard as the Ethereum form, but it does have the option to be mixed and hit really hard, so we have to look out for that. So, moving on to his second free pick is something I'm not expecting at all. is a Celebi, but Celebi can... It has a decent matchup, but it's not good enough for him to bring it, I don't think. Celebi, uh... Base 100s across the board, so it's gonna be hard to prep for. On terms on what I think he would bring, most like a choice scarf trick set for to counter my Umbreon with Earth Power, Giga Drain, Psychic, um, Scarf, Celebi, Speed ties with Scarf, Victini, and then Earth Power will do a good amount. I won't kill, but it'll do a good amount. It also can Earth Power my Reggie still, but we have Victini that can wall it, and our Mega Blastoise can Ice Beam it because we do live a Giga Drain. And I think Ice Beam is going to do more than his Giga Drain will, but after, we can't take two, I believe. Depends on his set, honestly. Um, if he does bring, like, a Specs Celebi, we'll find out later on. Um, yeah, not much to say about Celebi. Base 100, hard to prep for. It could be a, a Nasty Plot Baton Pass set, or Sword Zans Baton Pass set. But I don't expect that, again, because of Ditto. So moving on, we have Meloetta, and even though we have the regular Meloetta set. I actually, when I was, um, right before I started recording this, I was looking at my team and I realized that his Purette form actually can beat me, which is surprising. But, so like if he runs a, I don't know, a 
Leftovers with Serene Grace with Relic Song, Drain Punch, um, Return, and U-Turn. Uh, we actually, this thing can actually like hurt us really bad because it gets its recovery with Drain Punch. It's a base 100 HP. Um, let's check out the Purette form. Well, we got a Purette. Like I said, it has to have Relic Song to turn into this. But its Purette form has 100 HP, 128 attack, 90 defense, 70 specials, and 128 speed. So this thing becomes instantly way faster, really scary. Um, Scarpic Teeny at speeds, and Blue Flare will do a lot to this thing if it is this form. If it's the other form, Blue Flare won't be doing as much because uh, its special defense is way higher. But looking at it, some of its moves, this is kind of wild. I was looking at this earlier. It gets a lot of crazy moves. It gets close combat, energy ball, drain punch, fire. It gets the elemental punches, heal bell, home claws, knock off, power up punch, psychic, psy shock, return. I don't think it gets fake out. For some reason I thought it got fake out, but it does not as you can see. Facade so we can't really safely burn it. Stone edge to hit my, um, nothing's weak to stone edge, never mind. I don't think, <laughs> oh, well, mega beat, well, Victini is. U-turns is in headbutt, thunder wave, trick. So this thing can be run different ways, but he's either going to bring this set or he's going to bring like a specs puret, not puret. He's either going to bring this set with like leftovers or a life orb, or he's going to bring the uh, regular set with a specs or an assault vest. But I'm, I don't know. It's either specs set or this set. I don't think he's gonna. I don't. It's tough because P Meloetta is Loki hard to prep for. But we should be good, we should be good. And his final pick is his Electivire. Not too worried about this. Um, if he does bring it, it's gonna, definitely going to be Choice Scarf, so we can out -try it. So we can try to outspeed my Victini, throw me off like Thunder Punch, Dual Chop, I mean Cross Chop, um, Earthquake Ice Punch. Something simple, not too shabby. I'm not expecting it at all, but we'll go over its stats anyway. 75 HP, 123 attack, so that's really good. 67 defense, 95 special attack. Special defense is 85, and its speed is 95. It's not that fast, and that's kind of bad because you really want to speed the electric type. But throw a choice scarf on there, or if he gets a motor drive boost, um, he'll be good to go. So that's his team. Let's go over the team we brought to counter this team. Um, as you can see, the first thing we led off with is Vic Tini. And we're going to go bounce back and forth between the sets, because you can see my... Um, Big teeny set has Trick, Blue Flare, Glaciate, Energy Ball. Let's let's just go over. Let's look, let's look at his team. Skarmory doesn't want to take a Blue Flare. Glaciate beats Salamence. You can blue. You can Trick the Porygon two and Blue Flare it. Energy Ball hits Swamper. Blue Flare the Slurp Puff. Energy Ball the Polyrath. Blue Flare Absol. Blue Flare Thunderous. Blue Flare. The rest of his team like nothing wants to swap in against this Big Teeny. Big Teeny has an amazing matchup this week. Um, choice Scarf Trick, and we can trick things like the Celebi, if it's like in a support set, Skarmory and Porygon 2. Even the Slurpuff doesn't want to get tricked because, like, it then loses its um, chance to set up and sweep. Um, and Scarf, I'd rather deal with Scarf Slurpuff than um, Belly Jump Slurpuff. One sec as my move my laptop. Hopefully that wasn't that loud, but... Rockin... Max special attack, max speed, um, jolly nature, no, timid nature, my bad. Yeah, timid. Um, this thing I expect to get, like, maybe two, three kills. Just wall break, sit there. Um, it's probably gonna, if I had to think what it would die to, I don't want it to die. I don't think it'll die, but if it had to, it would probably die to the, um, Mega Absol. But, like I said, it then becomes, am I gonna trick? Not trick, am I gonna attack him? With blue flare, or am I gonna try to swap and save my Victini so he'd have to bounce back between Sucker Punch and Pursuit? It's all it's diff it's difficult to prep for. I feel like so I most likely would stay in because I wouldn't want him to get a free sword stance up. Um, and blue flare, yeah, just destroys his entire team. We get the chance to burn to Glaciate slows him down. It's it's gonna be good. I feel like up next, making its debut is Mega Blastoise. Torux is here. Rocking a really defensive set um, with Rapid Spin Scald, Ice Beam, Flash Cannon. This set is to take on his Mega Absol and his Slurpuff because we need we need a lot of physical walls to take those on. 
Max HP allows us, like I said, to uh, live more hits. We're rocking a bold nature instead of a modest nature. I was bouncing back between the two, but we need the bold, even though the modest would help us uh, kill some things better. Skull is for just like his, is just for stab, ice beam is for the salamence of course, and flash cannons for the slurpuff. Because we cannot allow slurpuff to set up on us. Um, yeah, he can rest, we, we can rest the scald burn, but flash cannons doing like 78% max or something like that, while scald's only doing about 50%, 55%, something like that. Um, rapid spins, like uh, just to get rid of his hazards, because we know Skarmory's coming. Um... But yeah, Trux is here. He's, like I said, mainly to eat some hits. Even from Salamence, he can eat a hit from, like, I think he can live a plus one Outrage and then kill Dice Beam. I could be wrong, but I will double check on that. It might not if he's Life Orb, but if he's Lumberry, we live. So, yeah, we're going to move on to Umbreon next, Midna. Coming off a pretty decent week last week, even though it was a loss. It did wall and get a kill, I believe. Not, didn't get a kill, but it did good job walling. Uh... Rockin' basically, I think it's the exact same set with, except for we put Heal Bell on there, except for Baton Pass. So we got Foul Play, Wish, Toxic, Heal Bell. Our special, well, this is for Thunderous in case it comes. I don't expect it to, to be honest. But, like, some of it also takes on Special Absol really well if he does bring that, but I don't expect that, like I said. Can take on Special Salamence. Like, this can just take on a lot of his Special Walls really well. Um, we can eat a Superpower from... Absol and foul play it and get a good chunk of damage off of him, or we can like wish and go from there. Um, not, I mean, this is our special wall. Uh, like I said, our only special wall, so we got to be careful not let it die too quickly. And if like thunderous sets a nasty plot, we need to be careful. This again swaps in on thunder waves or toxics from the Porygon, bounce them right back with the synchronize. So max HP, max special defense for. In defense, foul play, yeah, we're good. Up next, we have to bring Ditto this week. Not much to say. We didn't IV for a any hidden power. I was thinking about hidden power ice, but I said, nah, I don't want to do that. I just will give it max HP, and then all the other stats gets copied. Choice Scarf Imposter, not much to say about it. Um, just like I said, take on his elements if it dragon dances. Takes on his Absol if it swords dances. Takes on his Celebi if it starts setting up and Slurpuff, but the problem is it does not get the Unburden boost, so we have to look out for that. Ditto will not get the Unburden boost if it copies the stats because I believe that's not how the ability works. I might be wrong, but I'm 95% sure that's how it works, so. Up next we have our main physical wall breaker, our only physical wall breaker, Breloom, holding a choice band, technician, mock punch, rock tomb, bullet seed, thunder punch. Mock punch actually will Oko make Absol, um Thunder Punch will hit this uh, Skarmory. We need something to hit Skarmory. Rock Tomb hits Salamence, kills it if he tries to set up with it. Bullet Seed, again, for his water types. Not much to say about there. And it's for Stab, too. But our main move will probably kick it. Click his Mock Punch at the end. We need to get damage off. It also kills his Meloetta Purette form, and it does a good amount to his Mel Meloetta regular form. As it is super effective on Purette and neutral on the other form. And Choice Banded Technician will actually hurt a lot, so Breloom is here, uh, not much to swap in against it, I mean Skarmory can, but if we Thunder Punch predict, we should be good to go. And finally, our main defensive wall, we have Iron Maiden, okay, so Stealth Rock, Super Power, Thunder Wave, Iron Head, uh, 100 HP, 156 attack, 252 special, I mean, not special, defense with a um, impish nature, and we have just enough attack to have like a 50 good we have a good chance to kill his mega I think we kill his mega absol the superpower um I feel like I calc it wrong now that I think about it um because I forgot to check the defense drops in case he goes for a superpower but anyway this thing can eat a superpower from absol and kill right back with superpower no matter what we can get our stealth rocks up thunder wave this is for speed control and general hacks even though I don't like it but we need it for our slow team and iron head for a slur puff like um this thing is our main slur puff check uh and it can swap in against um what's it called it can swap in against absol too but we don't want it that's why we we don't want it to we need it as much off as we can so that's why we have uh umbreon and blastoise over there to kind of take hits so reggie still doesn't have to if we do have to though we'll have to play really careful against the slur puff so 
that's our team. Uh, if we need to make a team on what I think he's going to bring, let's go Mega Absol. So, like, he's definitely bringing that. He's definitely bringing Slurpuff. And he's definitely bringing Salamence. Those are the three I believe he has to bring. Skarmory is, like, 75% yes. Um, Meloetta Purette form. Meloetta definitely coming. And for this last Pokemon, most likely either his... Hmm. What did I say I thought was coming earlier? Was it Thunderous? Pretty sure I said Thunderous was coming, definitely. Um, either Thunderous or Swampert, one of those two will come. Uh, only because uh, Mirror Coat Swampert's actually pretty good, and I don't expect him to... But I, I don't know that's the thing for his last one, so it's either going to be Thunderous, Swampert, or... I don't know... Celebi, one of those three, but these five I can almost guarantee are going to come. Uh, he could swap out Slurpuff if he doesn't think it has a good matchup, if he doesn't realize it. But if you draft Slurpuff, then you're trying to belly drum almost all the time because that's fun to use. So, thanks you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, tomorrow is Sunday. The day this is going up is Sunday, so. Um, we should have the battle up by Monday, maybe later tonight, Sunday. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment on if you think this team is going to win or not. Leave a like. Check out the um, description for Count's Twitter and such. And I'm going to get up out. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.